Greetings and welcome everyone to Simply Forestry. On today's episode, episode four, we're going to be tackling, I think, getting food to be a little bit better for us and maybe getting some clay to start some Tinker's Construct. So with that, let's just jump right into this episode and let's just keep going. Um, we had an issue with the pack a little bit ago, which pretty much put us at a severe disadvantage because dogs and bears from the Animalia mod were just spawning like crazy. I couldn't actually move around too much without practically dying. It was that bad. And so what I ended up doing is I made some modifications to the, to the config file on the mod and it was still problematic. Oh, we need some carrots. We really need to eat. So let's grab some food from over here. And it was, it was horrid. We couldn't do much of anything and I was really a struggling to um, even get out of my own house. At one point, there was three bears outside the front door. And I was like, this this really isn't supposed to be happening. When the spawn rate is the lowest it can be, and only one at a time, it was just crazy. So hopefully we've got that ironed out a little bit. They're still in here, but hopefully not as dense. And that's, that's what we're aiming for here. We want them in here, but we just don't want them to be as, as prolific as they were before. Okay, so now we're fully healed and we have some food left over and we're good to go. So a lot of the wild bees have been killing off all the animals everywhere and there's some clay right there that we need. So what we're going to try to do is get a full stack of clay to uh, be able to do the tinker's construct. And while we're at it, of course, we're going to make a bucket and do a few other things, you know, no big deal. Oh, that's interesting. It's raining there. So let's grab this clay here. There we go. And we'll grab some dirt here. As you can see, we're being sucked under because of the, the water current here. There we go. I think we fixed it. No big deal. Let's go out here and grab the rest of this because there's quite a bit out here. But like I was saying, there was that issue with Animalia and hopefully it is ironed out. But if not, you'll probably see me die quite a bit this episode because they have been aggressive. The bears are practically, they practically one shot me which is pretty crazy in and of itself. But hopefully it'll all work out in the end. And we'll be able to get a little bit deeper into the pack without too many snags. I didn't notice that on my test plays that it was doing anything like that, which is kind of odd. But, you know, each map is going to be a little bit different. And it looks like we have enough clay, hopefully, to be able to use for the grout recipe. Yep, we should be good. Let's just grab a little bit more. Because we have two stacks of sand. We don't quite have two stacks of um, gravel. But we'll do that too. We'll grab a little bit more gravel while we're at it. Hopefully no piranhas get us while we're in here. I forgot to mention that piranhas are in here. And they are pretty voracious. And we're going to have to watch out for them. Because they have already tried to take me down. <laughs> but I managed to get them. So it was no big deal. It wasn't as bad as it sounds. Let's grab a lot of this here. Oh, looks like our shovel just leveled up, which is good. So what we have right now, I think, is at least one full stack and 13 left over. So we'll just grab all of this here. All right, oh, there's some more clay over there. We're gonna have to grab that before we go here. So let's, uh, let's grab all this. And it should be enough to almost get us there. Well, 34, 35. Let's grab just a little bit more here. We'll be good to go. Our tool's about ready to break on us, but luckily this tool hasn't been stolen. It seems to only be the primary item that you're holding at the time of their attack that seems to cause the problem. But it's all good. It all will work out in the end. Okay, so that's enough. I get to mine and I, I kind of lose track of things here. I think we got enough and it'll be good. Let's head back. This is working out quite well. Let's get our materials that we need here. Throw those carrots out of the way. Throw down some clay here. Make sure to grab at least two stacks. And then we'll grab all of our gravel that we need. We have just a little bit left over. Two stacks of that and then two stacks of sand. This should be able to make us a large enough smeltery for us to be able to get started here without too many issues. Let's just drop it all into place here and get our four stacks. We're going to have to make a little bit more here. 
As you notice, we have some different sounds because we have dynamic sounds in the pack as well, which I think is pretty neat. Let's see. Oh, we need some cobblestone to snag my cobblestone. So let's see here. We're going to need three more furnaces and we'll be good. There we go. Some of the shift click functions and whatnot aren't working as well as that you would normally think them to work here. But it's okay. I'm not really too concerned here. Let's see, we need enough for four. Ooh, we don't have enough. So we're gonna have to go get some more. Not a big deal. Get this all cooked up. Let's see, we need four more. And so for that, we'll just make this. Go here like so, and we will drop We'll put you in there and make some charcoal real quick. Throw some sticks in there to make it happen. When that one finishes, we'll switch over to this other one. Because we're pretty much trying to switch over to birch now. Now that our birch is starting to really grow up, we'll be using it as our primary source of wood. It's nice to have the oak. And this section over here, right, is actually only one. And there's a bear right there already. And there's a rat right there. Fun, fun, fun. So this one I started with just one tree and it has expanded to a forest. That's one of the nice things. When you see those little acorns on the ground, there's a 25% chance that they will form into a tree, which is pretty nice. I like it. See, like that little one over there could potentially become a tree. So it'll all work out. Okay, so we got these three here, which is good. And what we'll do is we'll use these three here to cook up these ones. And we'll keep our sticks extra here and we'll be good to go. So as you can see, these are cooking up quite nicely. Okay, so this is the one that needs one, and this is the one that needs uh, three. Not a big deal. So this is the one. Oh yeah, I forgot. Charcoal versus coal. That's right. Hmm. I'll swap this out for a minute. And just throw these in here. We'll just add all of these into there. Once we get them, now this is cooking up pretty fast. So we got six in there. I think we need just one more and we'll have it. And we'll just let it be. There we go. That'll work for now. So, thank goodness the bear is gone. The rat is gone. You see how there's a little sprout right there. An acorn must have fallen and taken root. It's pretty nice. And there's the bear coming at us. By the way, they're faster than I can run, too which is another thing. They are voracious. Hopefully we can hide in here and be able to take them down. Sometimes you can. So we'll take them down like this. This is the best way I've been able to fight them without any type of armor yet. There we go. Boom. Poor guy. Wouldn't take him down if he wasn't so aggressive, but he is very aggressive, so no real choice there. Okay, so let's see. Where is our bear claws? There they are, and our bear meat, which isn't bad. If we cook it up, it's uh, it's pretty good. So we may end up switching out to that if we get more bears continuing to spawn, but as of right now, we'll just do what we got to do. Okay, so as these are cooking, let's make a bucket. Because we're going to need a bucket here. And for that... Definitely going to need at least three pieces of this. So what I'll do is I'm going to take these sticks here. And they have a burn time of 100 ticks. And that should be enough to get us a bucket. I don't want to waste too much with our increased chance of getting double ore. Because uh, ore is precious. So we need to save it. So when these three cook up, we'll get a bucket. And with the bucket, we'll be able to make salt, if I remember correctly. Let's look that up. And with the salt, we'll be able to take the wheat we've gotten... And make some of the food that we need to eat here. So it looks like, yep, so we're just going to need a pot, which is going to be four bricks and a stick. So we'll cook those up too. So let's take some clay here and it'll be able to help us out. So we got our three from there. So one, two, three, four, and that should do that there. We're probably going to run out of sticks though. Oh, looks like we're acquiring hardware. Not bad. We'll drop those in there. So 
these finish cooking, let's make our little bucket here. There we go. That's not too bad. So now we have our bucket to be able to get our water for our salt, because you're gonna need a fresh bucket of water. So while that's cooking up, what we can do is we can run this way and go over here towards the water. And as you notice, our little tree is sprouting up already. It's so nice that they grow in real time as you're playing. And I, I like that a lot. So you go over here to the water, take your bucket. Oh, we probably shouldn't stand next to the bees just to be on the safe side here. Then if you take this up here, it's going to give you a bucket of water and you can stack that. So we're going to make quite a few of these. I'll be back once I make about 16 of them. Okay, so we got our 16. And now let us keep going here. Let's head on back to our little hovel. Well, I guess it's a little bit more than a hovel, but our house, nonetheless. And let's see, we're doing pretty good. We're about halfway there on those. We've got the four bricks. We're going to need at least one stick here to make this work, like so. And we have our pot. So with our pot and our fresh water, we can get salt. So salt is required as a part of this recipe to make uh, dough. And if I, oh I already should already have some of this bread stuff, flour, there it is. We have 15 so we're gonna need one more of those. And so we'll grab our mortar and pedestal and we will make our flour here, our 16th one. So let's set that off to the side. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this flour we're gonna make dough. Gonna find it here. Not sesame bun. Should be okay. So it will require. Oh, it'll require a mixing bowl. So we'll need a mixing bowl, which is uh, sticks and planks. So let's see. We don't. I guess we don't have any more of those. We'll just go like so, and we will grab another one of those. There we go. So now we have the mixing bowl. We're going to need some more water. So I'm going to go grab some more water to go with our salt, to go with our flour, and I'll be back once I've got those items. Okay, so we are back now, and we have the required fresh water, salt, mixing bowl. Oh, what does that water do? Oh, it just gives me another water. Okay, salt and flour, and we will have our dough, which is pretty nice. And so using the dough, we'll just cook it I think and it will make bread if I remember correctly or we may need to put it with bakeware if I, that might be the right one let's double check here bread 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 too many recipes just type it in it's crazy that there's so many loaves of bread oh yeah so we'll require bakeware we need another eight so I'm glad we kept some of this here so we're just going to cook up one of these real quick. Take eight of these and let them cook up real quick. And this should solve our food problem for a little bit. Eventually we'll make it work a little bit better so we don't have to go through all this. But for now, we'll begin there. And uh, looks like our grout has almost made our seared bricks. And at that point, we're going to need to cook up a little bit more sand, which we have right here, which is good. We'll take two of those. And there should be another one of these here. Okay, so once this one finishes, what we're going to do is we're just going to drop that sand right in there and let it cook up. Because there'll be exactly one piece of charcoal left over for that. Which is nice and we'll be able to keep these as spare. So we'll go like this. We'll take all these out of here. See, now you notice there it's already starting again. There's a bear over there already. There's, a, there's several dogs outside. Well, you can only see one, but I thought I saw a couple a minute ago. But yeah, it started again. Oh my goodness. So hopefully you guys don't see me die too much. But if it happens, it happens. We're going to stay in here for the moment, but we're going to have to go out in a minute to build our smeltery. So let's drop the clay in here. We should be good with the clay. Let's drop off all of our tools that we have here. We'll put that there with those. And we'll just keep our bucket on us real quick. And we're eventually going to need to get some lava. And there is a lava pit around here that we can use that we have access to. It'll make things fairly easy. And our bakeware is pretty much done. Our glass is about halfway done. Let's grab our bakeware here. We also need to put up this mixing bowl. I like that Pam's Harvest Crafts has a lot of 
kitchen tools, but it, it can be a lot of work. Okay, so now we have bread. We actually have something we can eat that is decent. I don't know, can we cook carrots? We should check. I don't see, well we can infuse, you can use it in an infusion to make the arcane lamp, but I don't think we can cook carrots. Need a mod that adds cooked carrots. May have to look into that. Okay, so we're gonna put our bit our uh, other Pam's Harvest Craft um, food crafting items over there, and that's our stone kit. We gotta keep that in case we have to recharge something. So it looks like we're gonna have to head out for a minute here. I'm gonna eat two pieces of bread. And hopefully, we can stay alive long enough to take out this dog that's right here. Ooh, it's a small lag spike right there. There we go. He only got me once. Decent enough. Now his buddy's gonna be right over here, I assume. Okay, I'm not seeing him. And that's okay. Good enough. There's our mine over there. I think we got a clear enough area here. Oh, there you go. So there's what the birch um, seeds look like. The catkin, I think, is what they call them. So let's drop that down there. There's no one over here. And there is a 25, like I said, there's a 25% chance that they will actually. Um, plant themselves and grow which is pretty doggone awesome if you ask me so let's go in here and let's plan out a little bit now that our glass is done what we can do here is let's look up a uh, seer and that'll give us what we need so for the most part we're definitely gonna need at least 16 of these and we're gonna need a this is uh, the controller and let's see what else we're gonna need there was, we'll need at least one of these, and one of these. We'll need two of these, and then grab that there. We need at least two of these, and we're out of space. Uh-oh, that's not good. We'll have to make room here in a second. We still need a tank. Well, I can take care of this. We have the chest here. We can drop a couple items in there. Put all that wood in there. Okay, so now we just need, I think it goes like this with a piece of glass and it gives us our seared tank. Okay, so let's go carve out the basics here. We'll go put this in place and I'm gonna plant this. Oh, well, there's the bear. Let's see, can we beat the bear? We need a place to run to hide from the bear. Let's see, we've already tracked its attention here. Yep. It's coming after us. Is it going to reach us? Whew. It almost got us. That was close, but it got caught up on the side of the house, thankfully. It, maybe it doesn't see me here. There we go. Come on, little buddy. I want to... You can't get past the house or something? Whew. This bear could be quite tough. I can already see it happening. It looks like it's having pathing problems. Okay, now it should be able to make it over. Oh, where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Whew. If he swipes me, you guys will see what it's like. Whoo, there you go. That was a pretty good swipe. How much is left? Can't have much left. Can't have much left. Oh, he's only got one hit left. Can we hit him before he hits us? There we go. Whew. It's a close call. Let's go in here. Let's drop off this. We gotta drop him off over here. Oh, we didn't even pick it up. See, that's why I feel like I had to go inside because we need to drop that stuff off. Let's see here. There we go. Okay, so we can make that tool and eventually we might, but for now we're just gonna be just fine without it. So let's see here. We're gonna wanna go three from it. So one, two, three. And we'll call this a good spot here. Cause that'll give us, it'll give us three wide between. We're gonna need to eventually do something about the beehive. I'll have to grab my scoop and take care of it. But this will work out fairly well. We need to eat a little bit here. You can already hear our heartbeat going. And then we'll make a few more of these. There we go. Now we'll put this one here. I don't think the controller has to be in the middle. And the tank on the side for now and boom we got it so our smeltery is up and running we need to put in place our other blocks that'll help us out here 
And then what I plan to do is we're going to eventually have two of these here, but for now we're just going to have the one on either side. Grab our faucets like so. And then what we'll do here is we're going to go right on top here like so. And we have our smeltery. We have extra bricks for now. We will need more later when we go taller because for right now it can only do that many. And I do like to go a lot more than that. And in fact, we're, we might as well. I mean, we're not really hurting anything by continuing to do it here. So we'll go just a little bit taller here. Oh, snap. <laughs> and then I put it in the wrong place. Grab that before it shifts. Oh wait, there's no fuel in it, so it's not that big a deal. Okay. Let's try again here. There we go. Those doggone bees, they just keep getting me. Okay, so do we have enough to finish this layer? Nope, we do not. We are one brick short. Well, we'll eventually get another brick. It'll work until then. As you can see, it's already a little bit better than it was before. And so now let's grab some of that lava that we saw on the map here. And now our map isn't working. Great. There's nothing above us. Oh, this is the clouds. Move over here, maybe it'll work a little bit better. But I don't know where that, um, I don't remember where that lava is. Well, we're going to have to find it. We got our bucket, right? Yep. And what does it take to make a tank? Let's see. We have a couple different types of tanks to choose from. I typically go with the portable tanks. That's going to require some redstone, which we have not come across yet. And well, we already have the copper and some glass. So let's run off. Oh, there it is right there. The little westward sign was covering it. But as you can see, we're heading directly for that pond of lava over there. And that should get us started. It'll allow us to make quite a few things before we need to make the tank. So we're going to grab this and we'll be back. So here we are, we've made it back. We're going to drop that lava in there by just right clicking the bucket on our sear tank and it adds it right into the system because it's all connected. And so what we can do is we can take and cook up quite a bit of that iron. We we're only able to get 27 of it in there, but that's still not too bad. That's three tiers high and we're going to go take a nap. But I think this is where we're going to call it for the day. We got our smeltery up and running, and that is a good day's work. Thank you guys again for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.